At two suburban high schools today, lessons in boycotting. Students walk out of their classrooms in protest. They disrupted a school board meeting earlier this week, and today high school students in Berwyn and Cicero walked out of class. All the protests allege misuse of funds by the school district. Channel 5's Robin George has the latest. They say that for our education, you know, they say us walking out is not good for education. But them going on Lake Geneva spending our money, is that supposed to help our education? Yeah. 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 Students protesting the Morton District School Board walked out of Morton High School West this morning, angry about what they call mismanagement of school funds. There have been allegations that school officials spent money on trips and credit card purchases when the district is $12 million in debt. All the money that this guy spent on himself and on the board should have went to improving our school. There are a lot of things in there that should have been, uh, that, that could be fixed. The situation turned ugly after police ordered some kids to break up. One student refused to give his name, allegedly spit in the officer's face. He was charged with resisting arrest. This is totally inappropriate. It wasn't long before the students at Morton East joined the protest, encouraging all the students at this school to walk out. They denied our right of education. They take an arts and curricular activities away for their personal use. They take our money for their personal use. About 200 students in all walked out today. Each one now faces suspension. Don Siner is principal at Morton West. A walkout from the school disrupts the educational program, and it's a, a major concern because they're not only hurting themselves, they're hurting the other students who remain in the school. Today's walkout followed a raucous board meeting Wednesday night when student council members demanded the school board and superintendent resign. No one from the student council walked out today. Some think these students just wanted an excuse for a day off. Robin George, Channel 5 News. Neither the superintendent nor the school board president agreed to speak with us today about the students' complaints. They're protesting how the school superintendent and district are spending money. The district is nine and a half million dollars in debt. Everything that we're in debt, we could have just replaced or refixed it, but no, the money went to other things. Here are the students' allegations. They charge that school board members spent $12,000 to go to a Lake Geneva retreat. They spent tax dollars for a school board meeting in Florida. They spent $600 on alcohol for an event, and the district agreed to give the new superintendent a loan to buy a house inside the district. The students who are boycotting classes have also been suspended for one to ten days. They'll all have to return with their parents before they can go back to school. Many parents are supporting the boycott. I'm all for the kids doing what they're doing, believe what believe in what they believe is right. The students say that all morning long they've been hearing threats over the PA system. The school has been threatening to cancel the senior breakfast, to cancel senior prom, and to add a day at the end of the school year. But the students say those items are trivial compared to the planned cutbacks. They may lose their after-school sports programs. If you have to start cutting back financially, I think everything has to suffer a little bit. The students pledge that